Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be using Juliana Pena. It's going to be some Division 20 ranked online gameplay. And Juliana obviously beat Amanda Nunes, who for the longest time was considered the woman's GOAT. Probably still is the only one that can really sort of rival her is Valentina Shichenko, who is going to be fighting in um, the UFC in Shanghai, I believe. And if she wins that, is going to be on her seventh title defense, I believe, which is absolutely spectacular when you look at the fact that Nunes has managed to beat her twice um, the second fight was you know a lot more close I think some people had it going either way but regardless of that Nunes got the result and you know what to expect with Nunes she's ferocious she's good everywhere and Juliana managed to submit her and it was wild it was crazy I remember the commentary team was going absolutely crazy DC uh, Joe Rogan and John Anik and no one was really expecting it. I mean Nunes you know, I feel like Julia, Juliana hasn't got the credit just because of how Nunes looked. She didn't really look like herself, but you can't take anything away from Juliana. She, she, you know, she really wanted it. She showcased how good her jab was. You know, the jab was causing Nunes real issues, and as soon as it got to the ground, we all saw what happened. But in this match up here, is going to be a rematch with um, Amanda Nunes, also a Division 20 opponent, and. Predominantly, I'm just going to be looking to keep Nunes on the ground because on the on the feet, it's a big, big difference. I mean, Amanda's power was something to behold. Got a good range of uh, kicks as well, good kicking arsenal, and good boxing combinations as well. So the longer it's on the feet, the more I'm in danger. So you'll see that I'm going to be proactively looking to take this fight to the ground, rack up some control time, some ground and pound, and then potentially look for a submission finished. But quickly, as the gameplay is going on in the background, as I'm posturing up here and landing the strikes, I just want to say a huge thank you for all the support. Sorry there hasn't been an upload in about seven or eight days. Had a little break just because I've been very busy with work. And yeah, I'm going to get back onto the grind now. Start getting some more gameplay. I had a comment suggesting that I should do some more chilled out videos and maybe play some subscribers. So if any of you guys do want to fight me and want it to be uploaded, if the gameplays are good, let me know in the comments below and for sure I'll look forward to playing some of you guys and posting a video on it. We'll be looking to stream more as well when I have the time so feel free to jump in the streams and play me then also. But yeah, huge thank you for the support. I think I'm on 310 subscribers so massive thank you to you guys and yeah, back into the video now. You can see that I'm putting on a very dominant display here. I mean, Nunes off her back is still a huge threat, especially from um, side control, even when I'm on top. Um, Amanda has the ability to sweep straight into full guard. And then from full guard, she also has rubber guard. So Amanda Nunes is very well versed and definitely, in my opinion, the best fighter in um, this weight class. But Julia, if you, Julian, if you use her correctly can definitely cause Nunes some problems as you can see here denying these transitions wearing out Nunes and this is exactly what you're going to have to look to do with uh, Pena you're going to have to do this exact same thing wear out Amanda build up um, GA and look to advance and you've got to mix up the ground and pound and the submissions because she's got very good submissions so that's something that definitely needs to be utilized but yeah very dominant first round as you see I checked the stats there and the person I'm fighting against says well played, which is very rare. Normally when you grapple players online, they're not too happy. And they're normally saying the opposite. So it was refreshing to see someone saying, you know, well played. And just appreciating that I've stuck to a game plan. It's working out very, very well. You can see starting off that these leg kicks from Amanda are so, so fast. And they're very powerful as well. I'm trying to reach in for this takedown. That's two this round I failed just being out of range and get into the boxing range there shoot for the takedown turn it and end up straight into half guard Nunes's problem there was was frying with the hand that should have been covering the neck so you see in this position here Nunes's right hand is on the back of my head when Nunes was throwing because she was using that right hand it allowed me to get an easy posture up and throw some ground and pound and that's exactly what I look to do advance into side control and here you see that I'm extremely, extremely patient because I don't want to risk moving and get um, denied. And not only that, I don't want to overthrow and then allow Nunes the opportunity to get straight into full guard or into the sprawl position. Mainly the full guard because from full guard the rubber guard is always going to be a big threat. You can see that stamina management at this point has become a real issue in the sense that I've got the advantage. So whenever I'm posturing up, I'm getting these free transitions to go either top mount or side control. And that's extremely important. 
when you're trying to adopt a grapple heavy approach in any fight is building up a stamina advantage because it allows for those easy transitions as you just saw there. But yeah, Pena really surprised me. She's she's actually quite fun to use. Since this fight, I believe this fight might have even been on stream. It's a very old gameplay. But since this fight, I've used uh, I've used Pena some more and she's, she's very, very good when it comes to the ground. Again, if the fight stays on the feet, you're going to be in big, big problems because this division has some excellent strikers and obviously Nunes is at the top of that list, especially when you look at the power Nunes possesses and the array of attacks Nunes possesses, as I've been saying. So you're definitely going to have to adopt this approach, be very, very patient and just wear out Nunes. Sort of what uh, Pena done in real life, obviously. The first round didn't go her way. Done very good in the... Uh, I can't really remember the second round much. I think she got finished in the second or third, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I remember the first round wasn't great. Then Pena came back, and as soon as she took Nunes down, we, we all saw what happened. But you can see that Nunes was able to reverse the position due to uh, me having lower stamina at that point. And that's where Nunes is really dangerous, is that Nunes has very good reversals. And if for one second you make a mistake, you could end up getting reversed and back onto the feet which is Nunez's domain you can see go to shoot another takedown good movement from Nunez I'm um, utilizing good head movement but it's leaving my legs very very open and that's something that Nunez done a good job in earlier on in the round which was attacking my legs and done a little bit of damage but of course then I got the fight to the ground and it neutralizes those threats big takedown there for Nunez at the end but obviously that's not going to do much in terms of anything it's just going to Give Nunes a takedown attempt and some small amount of control time. But another good round, definitely not as dominant as the first. So in this round, I'm looking to recreate more of what happened in the first. Take Nunes down early on and inflict damage with some ground pounds. And then if possible, look for a submission finish. So you can see here that good head movement, get into the clinch. Use the clinch in order to trip. And then I was waiting here. I was expecting Nunes to go up and I was going to pre-deny it and then advance the side control. But... Good job from Nunes there in uh, getting back to the feet. Clinch there, and I think what happened was Nunes was expecting me to drive her towards the fence and then get, take her back and then go for a takedown. But I went for the takedown there and then rather, and you can definitely see that it threw Nunes off and we got a takedown. And now that I'm in this position here, I've sort of memorized how my opponent is looking to transition out of these situations. So I'm just going to remain patient, get into crucifix, and... I believe this is the beginning of the end for Amanda Nunes, but these guys are going to be rematching after the Ultimate Fighter. I do think Nunes will probably get it. Maybe I'm not showing enough respect to Pena, but I think Nunes will end up winning, and then you'll see a final trilogy fight against Sevchenko, and that'll be it. Nunes rides off into the sunset, but that's just my thoughts but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video watching me use pena and showcasing some grappling thank you for all the support as i've been saying any content suggestions let me know in the comments below and if you'd like to play me let me know in the comments as well if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more ufc4 content thank you